magic word Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's me, your friend, Gino. I'm your favorite host of the best young children's show. I want you to grow in the direction you want to go. So if someone wants to stop you, then you must use your magic word. And the magic word is no. That's right. Always use that magic word, no. And guess what? We're going on a picnic. Yay. We are going on a picnic. What are you going to bring? We have some fun rules around what you're going to bring to this picnic. Rule number one, you're going to bring some fruit. You're going to bring your favorite fruit. What is your favorite fruit? Is that right? My favorite fruit is, hmm, I think it's pineapple. Did you say pineapple? Pineapple's pretty awesome. Okay, now we've got all the fruit on our nice picnic. Now, whether we like it or not, we've got to bring some vegetables. What's your favorite vegetable? I'll give you a moment. Think really hard about this. We've got to make it count because this is going to be the best picnic ever. What's your favorite bridge? What's your favorite vegetable that you're gonna bring? Is that right? You're gonna bring that? Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I my vegetable I'm gonna bring is. You know what? I would bring lots of vegetables from Julia's garden because vegetables straight from the garden I don't think there's anything yummier in the whole world but I would probably bring eggplant that's what I'd bring cooked in lots of oil <laughs> yum 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 and now you also have to bring another item you have to bring your favorite food. So it can just be anything in the whole world that you like to eat. Could be a dish. What's your favorite food? And, and that's what you're gonna bring. So tell me, what is it? Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I think I'm bringing pizza. Did you bring pizza too? I think it's gonna be a pizza party. <laughs> and the final rule of what you must do when you go to a picnic, at least our special picnic, you've got to bring your favorite drink. We've got fruits, we've got vegetables, you've got your favorite dish that you're bringing. What's your favorite drink that you're going to bring? I bet it's fizzy. I bet it's something like soda. <laughs> My favorite drink I'm going to bring is growing up juice. <laughs> juice that only growing ups can drink. <laughs> and lots of that. That's my favorite. What a nice picnic. 
I love having fun with you. And we've got to have music at this picnic, so let's listen to some music from Nancy Stewart. Yay! what time it is. It's nature time! Today's topic for nature time reminds me of this music that I play, or this animal makes me think of this music, or this music makes me think of this animal, it's a monkey! 
Let's talk about monkeys. They are often seen as being cute and highly intelligent animals. They are very vocal animals. And that is their main way of communicating with each other. They give off different pitches to inform about any danger, to call an individual and to communicate with their children. Monkeys also have unique fingerprints, just like humans do. They have flat noses and eyes that face forward. Monkeys have a brain that is large for their size, and it is the reason why they are so intelligent. Some monkeys live on the ground, while others live in trees. Monkeys eat a variety of food, such as fruit, insects, leaves, reptiles. Oh my gosh. They are certainly curious animals, but they are wild and unpredictable. They spend long periods of time removing items from the fur of each other. It helps them to stay clean and moreover, it is a form of bonding. Some species of monkeys can see in color while others can only differentiate between black and white. And monkeys can yawn like humans. <gasps> And it could mean that they are tired. <laughs> the monkey? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm adopting a monkey or something? This is like a monkey advertisement if you're going to go and buy a monkey. And the spirit of the monkey sends us a message to move through life with grace and fluidity without getting stuck in old habits and routines. Let's listen to a monkey sound. Whoa. Do you think they're big monkeys or small monkeys? Whoa! They're quite squeaky little monkeys they are. Let's finish off this nature segment about monkeys with a story, a Jataka tale. This one's called the stupid monkeys. The stupid monkeys. Once upon a time, a king gave a holiday to all the people in one of his cities. The king's gardener thought to himself, All my friends are having a holiday in the city. I could go into the city and enjoy myself with them if I did not have to water the trees here in this garden. I know what I will do. I will get the monkeys to water the young trees for me. In those days a tribe of monkeys lived in the king's garden. So the gardener went to the chief of the monkeys and said, you are lucky monkeys to be living in the king's garden. You have a fine place to play in. You have the best of food, nuts, fruit, and the young shoots of trees to eat. You have no work at all to do. You can play all day, every day. Today my friends are having a holiday in the city, and I want to enjoy myself with them. Will you water the young trees so that I can go away? Oh, yes, said the chief of the monkeys. We shall be glad to do that. 
Do not forget to water the trees when the sun goes down. See, they have plenty of water, but not too much, said the gardener. Then he showed them where the watering pots were kept, and went away. When the sun went down, the monkeys took the watering pots and began to water the young trees. See that each tree has enough water, said the chief of the monkeys. How shall we know when each tree has enough, they asked. The chief of the monkeys had no good answer, so he said, Pull up each young tree and look at the length of its roots. Give a great deal of water to those with long roots, but only a little to those trees that have short roots. Then those stupid monkeys pulled up all the young trees to see which trees had long roots and which had short roots. When the gardener came back the next day, the poor young trees were all dead. Let's listen to some more music!
the ferry, it'll take us there. Cars and trucks and bicycles, walk-ons too. Riding on the ferry is the thing to do. Well, did you bring a snack to eat? Yes, I did. Did you bring some juice to drink? Yes, I did. Did you bring a book to read? Yes, I did. Did you bring some shoes for your feet? Yes, I did. Oh, we're going on a ferry ride. It doesn't matter where. Just hop aboard the ferry. It'll take us there. Cars and trucks and bicycles, walk-ons too. Riding on the ferry is the thing to do. Well, did you bring your sunglasses? Yes, I did. Did you bring the sunscreen? Yes, I did. Did you bring binoculars? Yes, I did. Did you bring your raincoat? Yes, I did. Oh, we're going on a ferry ride. It doesn't matter where. Just hop aboard the ferry. It'll take us there. Cars and trucks and bicycles, walk-ons too. Riding on the ferry is the thing to do. Well, did you bring your bicycle? Yes, I did. Did you bring your backpack? Yes, I did. Did you bring your family? Yes, I did. Did you bring your best friend? Yes, I did. Oh, we're going on a ferry ride. It doesn't matter where. Just hop aboard the ferry. It'll take us there. Cars and trucks and bicycles, walk-ons too. Riding on the ferry is the thing to do. Riding on the ferry is the thing to do. And if you don't mind, I would like to read you a poem. And this poem is called "You Can Be Anything" by Gary Craig. It's important to know that whoever you are, all of life is a gift, and each child is a star. And each star shines so bright, with a will that is free. That whatever you want, that is what you can be. Whatever you dream in your heart and your mind, if you hold your dream there, then one day you will find that your dream has come true. And the truth is, you see, that whatever you want, that is what you will be. Don't listen to people who say that you can't, and shut your ears tight when they reason and rant. For no one ever knows who you are deep inside. So hold on to your dream. Let your dream be your guide. You will know, on the day, that your dream becomes true. That the reason it came was that you believed you. In that moment of joy, when your heart starts to sing. Then you'll know without doubt. You can be anything. That's right, my friends. You can be anything you want, and you can do anything you want to do. Well, I had a lovely picnic. I'm super full now. I ate too much pizza, too much eggplant. I ate like a whole pineapple all to myself. Yum yum yum. And boy oh boy, do I love pizza. And I love picnics. And I love growing up juice. <laughs> I had a great time. And that was another half hour of the best show in the world for you young children out there. Just remember, you can be anything, and you can do anything. Okay. Bye.